Hello and welcome. Today we're doing a question from Leet Code called Length of Last Word. It's an easy, we're going to jump right into it. Given a string S consisting of words and spaces, return the length of the last word in the string. A word is a maximal substring consisting of non-space characters only. So example one, we have hello world. The length of the last word, which is world, is five. Example two, we have the following input string. Here the last word is moon, so it has four characters and we output four. And example three, we have Luffy is still Joy Boy, so the length of the last word here is six. We want to find the length of our last word in a string. Now, one way to do this is to make use of the functions that we get through Python itself. The given input string s, we could go ahead and perform a strip on it. What that does is it removes trailing white spaces both at the front and end of the list. So s.strip would remove all these trailing spaces at the beginning and end over here. After that, what we can do is s.split. What this is going to do is make an array of all the words in our string. It's going to split on the remaining spaces in between. So we're going to have an array of words. So the first word is going to be fly, then me, then two, then the, and then moon. Once that's done, all we have to do is return the length of that last element in our array. So to write this all together, what we are doing is returning s.strip. Once that's done, we do a split. And once we have that, we want to find the last element and return the length of this element. So let's go ahead and submit this and it is accepted. Now to quickly visualize this, what I'm also going to do is go ahead and print these over here so we can visualize what is going to happen. So if I were to go ahead and print this and we can see what happens once we strip and split, right? Once we strip hello world, we had a bunch of trailing spaces on both ends. We get hello world with no trailing white space and then we go ahead and split. So we're splitting on all the spaces by default. So we get a list of hello world and then we just return that last element by the negative one and the length of that element. Now, if we don't want to do a Python or language specific implementation, how do we do this? Well, in order to do that, what I could do is start off at the end of my string. So say we have the following input over here, right? S is fly me to the moon with all these spaces over here. What I want to do is start off at this very last index. So I'm going to have index I being length of string, which is S minus one. And my initial length is going to be initialized to zero. Now I want to skip all these trailing white spaces. So I'm going to put a while loop. So while I is greater than equal to zero and S of I equals a space, I'm going to move my index down. So it's going to be I minus equals one. Once we exit this while loop, we know we are at a non space character. So now I want to keep moving I down and increase length up until I hit a space. So while I is greater than equal to zero, and s of i is not equal to a space, I'm going to continue moving i down, but I'm also going to increase the length over here. So length is going to be plus equals one. And in the end, all I have to do is return my length. So let's go ahead and submit this. And it is accepted. Now, before leaving, let's just do a super quick walkthrough with an example. Okay, say we have the following input as our example. This is string s over here. Now, going through our code line by line, what is the first thing we do? The first thing we do is initialize length to be zero. So length over here is going to be zero. Now we want to initialize i to be length of s minus one. So i is going to be 35. It's going to be all the way at the end over here at this empty space right here. Now, while i is greater than equal to zero, that is true and s of i is equal to the empty space. That is also true. So we go in this while loop and we move i down. So i goes to 34, move it down over here, and we go back in this while loop. So i is still greater than or equal to zero and it's still at an empty space. So we move i down once again. It's at index 33 and it's no longer at a space. So while it is greater than zero, it's not at a space. So we can't go back into this while loop, which means we exit out of here and we go into here. I is greater than or equal to zero and it is not equal to a space. So we move I down again. So now it is 32 and we add one to the length. So now length is one. We go back in this while loop. It's greater than or equal to zero. It's not equal to a space. It's an R over here. So we do the same thing again. I is now 31 and length increases to two. Going back in here, we repeat the operation. So I is now 30. We add one to length, so it is now three. And we go back in this while loop. Now, i is greater than or equal to zero, and s of i is not a space. So we move i down again, it's now 29, and we increase length by one. So now it is four. We go back in here, it's still greater than or equal to zero, but now it is a space. So we know our word has ended, and we can't go in here because it's no longer not a space. So we exit out of this while loop, and all we do is return length, and that is going to be four. And that makes sense, right? Here is a length of four. 
Now, time and space complexity. For time, we went through the entire length of string S. So there are n characters that it's going to be O of n. For space, all we're doing is keeping track of a pointer and length. So that's going to be constant O of 1. It doesn't depend on how big our input is. So we just went ahead and solved the length of last word. If you have any questions whatsoever, let me know down below. I will answer all of them. If this video was helpful, like, comment, and subscribe. It really supports the channel. And as always, I will see you in the next one.